King of Hearts, that's your dad. Queen of Hearts, that's your mother. The Jack, that's Tim. And this one, the one that's always standing, that's you. God, God, you, oh Jesus. That's the king, your father. Just like we thought. And he's right here, on the bed, touching Tim. Oh no, oh my God, stop, please. That's your mom. You can actually hear the fear in her voice. I don't think she's seeing the killer. I think that she's here, accidentally walking in on your father and Tim. I'll kill you, bastard, I'll kill you. This is where I really blew it. <laughs> what did we say? That, that this was your mother attacking the killer, attacking her son, calling her own son a bastard. I don't think so. I don't think it's your mother's voice at all. Is it so? I think it's a voice just like your mother's. I think that you burst in here and you went straight for it with that knife. It was him that you wanted. Wasn't it, Syl? Her being here was just some, some terrible coincidence. But all those years of, of turning a blind eye, of her knowing and keeping quiet, so you stabbed her too. Let go, let go! Now that is you. That's you, and you are struggling for that knife. But it's not you trying to take the knife away from Tim. It's Tim trying to take the knife away from you. It wasn't just Tim, was it, Syl? Tim came later. He raped you first, over and over, for years. I should have seen it. The symptoms were right in front of me all the time. The obsession with your appearance, the exercising, the way that you took on the perfect role for each of us. You were an ingenue for Mitch and a daughter for Karen and a, a nymphette for me. You know, abuse victims are always the best actors. They have to be. They live their whole lives with pain and shame. Pretending that there's nothing wrong greatest performance of all.